So here's a common scenario where you're wanting to move the arm and then move the robot afterwards. So maybe you're going out and you're grabbing something and then you need to return home. So our arm movement is this first uh, medium motor. And you'll notice it's designated with an A. So on your robot right here, you'll be plugged up to A for this arm movement. And then we'll grab a steering block to move the wheels afterwards. And here you'll see BC, so your wheels need to be connected to B and C right here. So this is a pretty common setup. I'm going to slow them down so that it doesn't run off the table. I'll give them maybe power 15 on both. And I'm connected via Bluetooth, so I can just hit play right here. And what you'll notice, first of all, my arm went up and I was intending for it to go down. But you'll see that this block right here still has some movement in it. And if you looked at your robot, you can see that the screen is still working and the lights are still blinking. So I'm stuck. And that happens to everybody when they start doing arm movement. So first we'll talk about why and then we'll talk about an easy way to fix it. So I'll cancel that. Uh, the reason why is because the default medium motor block is is based on rotations so a rotation when you're thinking about your wheels is um, the wheel going all the way around one time now on wheels and movement rotations are no problem which you'll see right here uh, but this motor to go around one time it would be like this arm spinning all the way around and it's going to get stuck it can't go all the way around because it's going to hit the brick of the robot. So um, first of all, let's make that negative power so that it goes down the way that I want to, and then you can see it a little more clearly. We'll hit play again. And notice once again, we still have this, this movement here in the, in the block, and we still have blinking lights, and the screen is sort of frozen on that program. So again, I'll cancel. It can't go one rotation all the way around. Now, one option is you could just lower the number. You could make it like half a rotation. You could test that out. Uh, we'll lift this back up and try it again with half a rotation and see if that fixes the problem. And in fact, that time it did fix the problem. Half a rotation was OK. However, you never really know when you're setting up, especially in a competition, if it's going to be set up this high or this high, or this high, or this high. You don't really know, and you don't want to have to measure every time. So an easier solution is right here to change this from rotations to seconds. And then you could say maybe half a second. So you're telling your arm to go down not a certain distance, not a certain number of rotations or degrees, but instead an amount of time. And that way, no matter what, you're not going to get stuck with this trying to go a place it can't go, when the time expires, it will automatically move to the next block.